New tonight, Houston's community of tow truck drivers are remembering one of their own. Curtis Martin, a tow truck driver, murdered just yesterday. Police say 27 year old Jonathan Wynn hit and killed Curtis Martin with his own tow truck after stealing it, eventually leading police on a wild chase that ended in a crash. Matt Doherty is live from Southwest Houston where that vigil just wrapped up. Matt. Grace, the truck drivers say they never imagined this could have happened to their friend. Tonight, they're calling for justice. These men are tough. With tattoos and grills of gold, they've seen it all. This brotherhood of drivers meets danger day and night. Always a call away when you or I need help. People think it's, you know, fun and games, but it's a job that we do. If we don't watch each other's bed. But for some of them, yesterday was too much. Police say 27-year-old Jonathan Wynn jumped in the tow truck of 53-year-old driver Curtis Martin and took off. Martin followed him, trying to get his truck back, and Wynn allegedly ran him over, killing him. Wynn led police on a chase, which ultimately came to an end when the suspect was hit by a driver who probably didn't have a clue what was happening. Tonight, Wynn is charged with capital murder. A sea of tow trucks flashing their lights fills the parking lot of the Walmart where Martin's truck was first stolen. Like a loved one that, you know, lost. That's why we're all here now trying to mourn our regrets and try to help the family out. Along with their reflections, some of the truckers are using this as a chance to speak to their community with words of wisdom and warning. Always watch your back. Whoever out here, bro, and if, if y'all working so hard, man, do not sleep in these trucks, man. For most of them tonight, it's a show of solidarity, a call for justice for the man they loved. He didn't deserve this. He did not deserve this at all. And the family's just asking for justice for them to deal with a the person they did him like this. Now, one truck driver mentioned to us earlier that it seemed that every single truck in town was here tonight. There were certainly dozens of them showing their support for that fallen trucker. Grace, back to you tough night for those friends and family. Thanks, Matt. The man charged with Martin's murder is still in the hospital. He wasn't able to face a judge in court as prosecutors read the charges against him. The court plans to appoint an attorney for him. The judge set no bond, so for now, he'll stay in police custody.